going past my, you here? about 15, 20, 30, 40, about that many, a whole bunch of shots. One of many desperate calls to 911 after the sound of gunfire erupted on Youngstown's east side. It was a dramatic scene last night, one of those many bullets killing a young mother. A family member tells us that victim is 24-year-old Crystal Hernandez. First News Senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti is following our top story this afternoon. He joins us now with new details on the investigation. Jerry. Chelsea, Youngstown police detectives have been running most of the night and this morning chasing down whatever leads or tips they can come up with, looking to find out how and why a young woman living in this apartment building died. It happened around 9.30 last night at this apartment complex on McBride on the city's east side. They found a young woman dead inside from a gunshot wound, but found more than 40 shell casings outside the building. This morning, detectives returned to the neighborhood looking for clues and anyone who might be able to give them an idea of what happened. We also spoke this morning with a man who told us he was the victim's uncle. I'm angry inside. I want to... <laughs> I want to punch something and uh, I'm just overwhelmed. Like I have a lot of mixed emotions and uh, I just can't, still can't believe it. I want to know what happened. I want to know the details. I want to know why my niece is dead at 24 years old. Police say they are still waiting for the Mahoney County Coroner's Office to give them the name officially of this victim. In the meantime, they're trying to determine how what may well have started outside here ended up leaving one woman inside dead. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. Chelsea.